Hello Pisces, Amy Energy here with a tarot message for you. Okay, we're gonna do a six card spread to see how your person feels about you. All right, working with the Urban Tarot. All right. Let's get your person's current energy, how they feel about you and the action they would like to take towards you. Okay, and here's your current energy, how they think you feel about them, and your best advice moving forward. Okay, Pisces, we have the tower on the bottom of the deck, okay, so this could be a little bit chaotic here. We're gonna clarify with the Rider Waits Smith deck. All right, let's get into your person's current energy. Okay, Pisces, your person is feeling very loving right now. We have Empress energy coming out. Okay, so definitely a really beautiful, lovely energy. I feel like this person is very mature and responsible. I feel like they definitely take very good care of themselves and their family. Okay. The cards are flying everywhere. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Pisces. All right, let's clarify this Empress. Get a little more information about Pisces person here. All right. The Strength card. Okay, yes. Very mature, very responsible energy. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. All right. Now let's see how they feel about their Pisces. Oh, okay, six of science. So Pisces, I feel like you have taught this person so much. They have a greater understanding of life because of having known you. Okay, so that's really beautiful. Okay, but it could be with this tower coming out over your reading. This, it is beautiful um, because I do feel like there was an understanding that was achieved here that was necessary for this person, but we're clarifying with the King of Wands. Okay, so... Yeah, Pisces, I feel like you showed this person that there's a different way to live, right? That you don't have to go the way that society goes. So I feel like they're impressed with you. They're impressed with your intelligence. But at the same time, that could be a little bit frightening for them. Okay. Yeah, the action they would like to take towards you is strength, right? So they want to... They do want to do right by you, Pisces, but I do feel like it's going to be the responsible thing. So let's get a clarifier here. Okay, they have a lot of heart towards you, Pisces, but wow, this is so interesting. I mean, they've evolved. Maybe you both have evolved, but they have the strength card coming out twice. So yeah, we have the two of swords coming out, Pisces. So. I do feel like this person has evolved since the last time we've been in contact with them. That's kind of what I'm feeling. I feel like this could be a situation that you thought was well over. Okay, however, with the tower coming out, unexpectedly you might hear from this person. But I do feel like right now the current energy is they have a lot of appreciation for you they truly really appreciate the connection that they had with you and I feel like they have something that they'd like to share with you from their heart okay whether I'm not seeing I'm really not seeing that gesture of love no knight of cups no ace of cups I'm not really seeing that um you know like that reconciliation this is but this is almost deeper than that it's just like I feel like they want to come forward. They really have something to express to you, Pisces, from their heart. 
Okay, your current energy is abundance, three of cups. So Pisces, I feel like you're really also enjoying life. I feel like you guys are in a somewhat similar energy here with them being in the Empress energy and you're with the Three of Cups. So I feel like you might not necessarily have that same like level of maturity or seriousness with your energy here. It's more light. Um, but that's not to say it's, you know, that's negative in any way. It's just, um, just a difference. And I feel like You've been celebrating, celebrating yourself, celebrating your friends, celebrating anything that's going on in your life, clarifying with the King of Swords. So I feel like, Pisces, you are celebrating your own intelligence, your own integrity. You're celebrating the fact that you, I feel, have recently leveled up here with the King of Swords. I definitely consider this energy to be someone who has reclaimed their self, their own agency. They're really able to use their intelligence for their own best good, okay? It's, it's really responsible too. It is. It's very responsible, but it's more, with you it's more mental, mentally we're like our thought process is really sharp and so we're able to make really good decisions for ourselves. whereas I feel like your person is really in like a family energy like they're really giving from their heart to their to their family a very heart-centered um, okay cards are flying again so let's move into Okay, how they think you feel about them. Okay, I feel like your person feels like you're waiting on them to reach out to you here with the universe. Okay. Or you're at least open to it. Yeah, your person, Three of Cups coming out again. So I feel like your person's watching you, right? Because you're in the Three of Cups energy and that's how they're seeing you. So I feel like your person is really seeing you, okay? And I feel like, you know, they, they feel like you are open to love and open to opportunity and open to experience in the world. But with this five of swords on the bottom of the deck, I feel like they, that's why they're in this two of swords energy because they see you very open and flowing and a lot of love coming out, but they don't know if you're open to them. Okay. That's what they don't know here because something happened with the five of swords. Maybe there was a nasty, break up in the past or you know this this is just not a really nice energy they could have really you know been playing games with you in the past and so your best advice here Pisces is the two of cups love okay so really lovely energy with that let's go ahead and clarify Okay, I feel like we want to maybe offer forgiveness to this person. Okay, maybe we want to reach out and extend an offer here, but let's see. Ten of Swords. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like this person has hurt you in the past, Pisces, and honestly, what I'm feeling with the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you maybe have said all that you can say in this situation, you know, and I'm not sure that we said it very eloquently with these two energies, but, I mean, you were hurt. I feel like this person really truly their actions truly had a 
intense effect on you here. That's ten swords. That's a lot. It's really, it's really heavy. Okay, so I do feel like, honestly, this Two of Cups isn't necessarily that we want to reach out or offer forgiveness to them, but I feel it's more the universe saying to you, Pisces, that you, you can accept forgiveness from this person, but this time, if they come back to you, you're, this Ten of Swords, this is an ending. You're ending the bullshit this time, okay? You're not going to allow them to hurt you. They're not going to come back in and continuously hurt you. So, Pisces, with this Two of Cups, you do have to make sure it's equal give and take, okay? So, I definitely feel like, you know... In your energy, Pisces, I feel like the advice for you is just keep doing what you're doing, okay? And keep your boundaries up. If someone comes to you, hey, it's equal give and take. You need to stay open to love, open to new experiences. You know, you deserve new and better experiences, right? But I definitely feel like this person could be rushing in with so much to say to you, okay? And it could be totally unexpected with the tower. I definitely feel that. Like, I, they're thinking about it right now. As we, as we speak, as I'm doing this reading, they are really thinking about it. Because it's weighing on their heart. Because, see, they're in this energy of the Empress and the Strength card. And they know, Pisces, your person is a good person. Right, and that's what I feel like. They really have to at least reach out to you because they have to make it right with you because it's not so much about you or about them or about the relationship. Well, it is about them. It's not so much about you or the relationship, but it is about, it's about the type of person they want to be, right? They want to be this evolved version of themselves so they have to acknowledge what they did to you so they have a lot to say and i feel like they are coming in to say it um you know i do feel like yes there is potential the two of cups showing up in this reading definitely there is potential for reconciliation I do feel like there is still love in this connection, um, but I don't know that that's going to happen. I feel like for some of my Pisces out there, it might, and for some of you, it might not. It's just going to be what serves your highest and best. All right, we have forgiveness coming out. Okay. Yeah, forgiveness over this reading I do I feel like there's a big need for forgiveness with you and your person Pisces okay they hurt you now let's get one more Oracle from the rebel deck Drop the fucking ego, vulnerability, vulner, vulnerability, 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 <laughs> vulnerability is hot as fuck, okay, there you have it Pisces, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Please let me know in the comments below if this resonated for you. Um, follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy, on TikTok at Amy Energy 3. If you want to book a personal, that is also in the description box below. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it's definitely not going to resonate for every single Pisces. All right, but um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope that you have a great day. Take care.